Hey guys, so today we want to talk about, this is going to be a little bit of a combination video. So one, we're going to talk about the e, the E2 sway bar and how easy that is to, to uh, take off after picking up our renter or coming back and parking it. The other, the other part of this video is we're going to talk about um, just kind of how we get it stabilized real simple and easy. Uh, the, the leveler that the leveler that we use and uh, just kind of, you know, how we, we need to get it off that hitch. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex here with About That RV Life. And I want to talk about rentals. And today, I want to talk about this E2 hitch. This is by far our favorite hitch that we like to use. We've got an uh, Anderson hitch, which is kind of a chain mechanism. And then we've got this big Kirkland one um, that we just really don't like. It weighs about 70 pounds. But in this video, I want to talk about the functionality and just really how easy it is to use. When we first um, got this, um, we got it automatically set up to fit our, we had an H2 Hummer that we were hauling this uh, camper with and um, worked out great. We loved it, you know, it was perfectly fitting, but just the H2 wasn't, wasn't enough to be able to pull this thing and pull it comfortably to where um, we didn't feel like we were going to lose control. So we got an F-150 and that again just wasn't enough to be able to pull. We did a long trip all the way to the, the whole uh, rainforest and, and that thing was just kind of felt like I was losing control of it. So we bought this hunker, the Duramax 2500 HD Chevy Silverado, which we absolutely love. We definitely have anything that we can handle. So to, show, to show you real quick, we've adjusted this to fit the uh, uh, F-150 that we had before the Silverado and we haven't really adjusted it yet. It's still a little bit lower than we'd like, so we want to definitely fix that. But today I just wanted to show you just how to unhook it. We just picked it up from the rental, um, the ease of it, and uh, we'll go from there. First thing we want to do is get the blocks down here underneath this thing so that we can actually just, just not really lift it up, but just put enough force so that when we're actually taking the ball off of this, um, and taking everything else and unconnecting everything that it's got something to kind of sit on. So now that we got that off, what we're going to do is just unhook this. And then we're going to unhook our chains. And these are pretty easy. Come off real nice and easy. Some of them you have to struggle with, which I don't like. And then next thing I'm going to do is take off this breakaway pin. Screw this here and separate it. What this actually does is, so it's kind of like your last ditch effort. So if it, everything else disconnects, what it does is it pulls this pin, which is underneath here, and it engages your brake system to stop your trailer from hitting another car. So the next thing we want to do is take these cow pins out that hold this, this guy in, pull that out. And then underneath here, there's these little hooks that pull out so they release this. My wife's gonna grab this bar while I unhook that and get that off. Lastly, before we get this thing out, the actual bar is this little pin here. Take this off, raise that up. So next thing we wanna do is put the wheel chocks in so that when we take it off the hitch, it obviously doesn't roll away. One of the great things I love about this hideout here, it's got this automatic thing here that lifts this uh, hitch off of the wall. I stop, get my truck out of the way, and it's sitting on this uh, block here nice and, nice and securely. And we got this nice little leveler here, so what we're going to do is get this level before we actually put the stabilizers down. Now lastly, we're going to get this, now that it's leveled off here, we're going to get the stabilizers down. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below on maybe some different processes that you guys might do. But until next time, happy camping.